Alaska has always been home to talented and eclectic artists, creative minds, crafting masterpieces for everyone to admire. Tonight, we introduce you to two artists doing just that. Their artwork comes to life, but it doesn't stay that way for long. Channel 2's Layla Santiago joins us now from Mountain View to explain. Layla? Meg, Jason, I normally don't think of myself as Two-Face. Today, I may have to. This is the work of two women who say that faces can make incredible artwork. But oddly enough, this is not the final project. Faces have proven to be timeless storytellers. Expressions alone can sometimes be the greatest narrators. And when captured, they can translate into exotic forms of art. This is where Aaron Pollock and Steph Kesey make art. They've worked together for five years. Both are intrigued by the human face. It'd be really nice to say that this is effortless and we're just artists, but we spend about 15, 16, 17 hours a day probably seven days a week for the last four months. These are the faces of real people. Is that one um, Kelly? No, this is Mary. Masks that reflect the scars and wrinkles that real life brings. You're staring right at this person for, you know, four hours or however long. <laughs> Get to know them pretty well. <laughs> the face artists admit they're obsessed. It's pretty bad when you go to the coffee shop and you're just scoping out everybody's face. <laughs> Capturing the character of a person in a wax mask has become addicting. Well, we just want a thin layer so that we can put the paint in the teeth and the, any pigment underneath to kind of make the skin look more alive. And attention to detail, sort of an experiment. even more particular. <laughs> This girl had a really great dimple. Getting here takes hours of work. Usually they take like 38 hours to get to a place where they look like they have life in them. And that's just for one mask. Once all is sniffed, stirred, and studied. This is a tool that has developed over many heads. Facial features <laughs> are copied quickly. Plaster and mold coat the entire face. And after 10 minutes of darkness and breathing through two straws. Count of three. One, two, three. There we go! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The birth of a new mask. They've duplicated almost 100 faces seen in the crowds of Anchorage every day. But this work of art will now turn into another form of art. The masks are about to become even more radiant than they already are. We plant the colors inside so that maybe like a red will shoot off the top of the head and a yellow off the bottom. For that to happen, they have to do something most people would never think of doing to a piece of art. So most of these guys will burn just from the bottom. The fate of the faces to melt away in a rainbow of color. Each of the colors is distinct. Um, I don't know, and sometimes crazy things happen, like a chin and lip will unattach itself and fly off in one direction. Whoa! Nice! But there's a bigger picture to it all. <laughs> the arson of art becomes the face of a film. Trying to get the smoke sort of out of the way enough to get a good still. The melting faces are captured. They rise and fall within minutes. What comes out of that is a lot more interesting. What looks so real seems to magically disappear. We want to keep making more and we have a small studio. <laughs> So we got to do something with them. What took so long to bring to life flows into the art of destruction. All right, so here's the good news. After this, you'll never see my face again, at least when it comes to the mask. You can see this is my face. It's melting from the bottom up, but sometimes they'll take them and burn them from the top, and that makes a really cool effect for the video as well. Now, here's an important note. These girls have a lot of equipment here on standby to make sure that this process goes as planned, so this is probably not something that you want to try at home. Meg, Jason? That is really cool. It is cool. So, Layla, when can people watch the film? Well, they have a show coming up, and that's going to be July 17th right here at the MTS Gallery. All that information is online, so you can just log on to KTUU.com for the details. I don't imagine they take requests for, uh, you know, for them to do your face. <laughs> well, Jason, they are calling on you. They want to do your face, too. That would be good. Mm. I'd like to see you, Bernie. Oh, I, don't, I don't need... Nah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Layla. Melting Thanks. away. Bye, Layla Santiago there. <laughs>